Hey, what's up? My name is Carsten from Klembau and welcome to a very special episode of Building in a Bar. Today I have something special for you. I have the Clementoni Mechanics Helicopter, which is an Italian brand and considered to be something close to Lego Technic. It's actually not exactly like Lego Technic, but it is very similar. First of all, let's start looking at the box. As you can see, we have the helicopter here at the front. And if we look at the back, we have a B model for this. And some of the mechanics are explained. And we have already the part list here in the back. They have also an app available, but I haven't tested the app. My guess is that the app is for the instructions of the B model, because the instructions of the B model are not printed. But before you start the work, you have to do some things. You see the clips and the gears. You have to release everything from a big frame of plastic. I am very happy that this is a small set and not a big set. I could imagine that this is very annoying if you have a set with 2000 pieces or so. Let's have a look at the instruction. The instruction page, the instructions are very slim and actually you complete this set within 33 steps, which is quite okay. On the first page you can see all the parts that are in the set. And then we already start building and we can see here that there are instructions for your mobile or tablet as well. And then we really start building, which is pretty familiar. And in the end, it will just show the features of the set. Once we finish the A model, it really looks like this. We are a sticker-free community and here are some stickers that I did not attach to the model. And even without stickers, it looks quite okay. This model has basically only one function. And that's it. Let's look at the size of this model. Sorry guys. We have a length about, I would say 32 centimeters. And we have a total height about 12 centimeters. And a width of about seven and a half or nearly eight. I paid nine euro fifty for this Technic set. This means it could be comparable with the smallest Technic sets of Lego. As I said, it's similar to Lego but it's not Lego. And apart from the other brands that copy Lego Technic sets or have the same beams and the same parts. Here we have also parts that reminds me of Lego Technic, but most of the parts are very different. And we have some very nice features here. Actually, we have two type of pins. 
we have blue pins which have a little bit here on the side and we have the black pins. All the beams and this nearly looks like a Lego Technic beam but it isn't. They have also some space here. This means when you attach a blue pin to the beam you can bring it into a position that the pin cannot move around anymore. This means if you add a second part then this part already stays in place with one pin. This means you need less pins which is pretty cool. Something which is quite confusing, at least if you only build Lego sets, is the amount of spare parts. And the amount of spare parts leaves some questions to me. So we have a second rotor, which is, makes sense. But we have also two Technic beams or Clementoni mechanic beams, I don't know what's the appropriate name. We have those parts and we have some of those small gears left which are used in this current build but we also have bigger gears and we don't use them. I don't know why they are part and I'm not sure if they used in the B model. I'm pretty sure the third wheel the fourth wheel is not used in the B model, but we have a fourth wheel. This actually allows us to build a car of this as well. So probably they are thinking, hey, this is your instruction, but you can also build a car. Also we have this snail here as leftover part. You can probably build interesting mocks with this one. We have some axles as leftovers, a pin connector, which I don't know. We I don't know if I have used one here. Uh, some of the um, stoppers and a few black pins. If you look at the bottom of the helicopter, you actually see that we have a dif differential used here. Well used is a bit exaggerated, it's built in, but it will not move. It's just for transitioning from the wheels to the rotor. But in theory, if you build a car with the parts, you can build a car with at least one differential. Kind of nice addition. What I don't like about the model is it does not stand. It always goes to the back and the front wheel is in the air. Also we have here and on the other side as well a black axle which is looking out of the model with no reason. <laughs> That's pretty awkward to me. For me the parts are feeling not as good as Lego Technic parts. They feel more plastic, I don't know how to describe, but it looks cheaper. And yes, it is cheaper, but it also looks like this. As a summary, I can say I really enjoyed building this one here. It's really a nice build for 9 euro 50 you get a lot of parts and I think the most interesting thing is that you have so many leftover parts that you can build something totally different out of this and I will probably try to build a car with a differential which is absolutely insane I mean they have a differential which they don't use how often do you see things like this if you are in Italy, give it a try. Try one of the Clementoni mechanic builds. I'm not sponsored or endorsed by Clementoni. I bought the set on my own just to present it to you. 
if you want to see more of those review in the bar videos, subscribe to Clambell. Thank you very much for watching this video. And here you can see a speed build.